Hey amigos, Knife Detector here. And I uh, wanted to do my weekly Saturday video with you guys. This is going to be a short one. I just want to show you what I've been EDCing this week and uh, in the weekends mostly. And I wanted to show you this other camp knife that I have that I picked up at uh, Harlingen uh, Market Days. And they have it like the second Saturday of every month. And I paid 20 bucks for it, and so I got a question for you guys. Did, did I overpay? So I'm going to show it to you, and then you tell me if I overpaid. Uh, when I bought it, the gentleman said, the stag, the stag alone is worth that, you know, and uh, I think he was right. And uh, so uh, I didn't want to say I was trying to get it for less, but but uh, yeah, he was right. So I just went ahead and I, and I pulled the trigger on it. So I'm going to show you that one last. First, I'm going to show you these other EDC knives I've been carrying. Okay, guys. So this is like an older... I think this is an older Victorinox 111 millimeter. This is a, does not have the one hand opening as you can see. So this is one of the older one. I think this is called the Adventure. And I really like this one, especially because it has that button lock uh, that locks in place. So you can see it does get a little bit of use from me, but I generally try and conserve it because I really like this one. And to uh, close it, you have to pull that lock in. And it works really well. Of course it has the, the uh, can opener right there famous Victorinox can opener great shape right it's got a little one you'd, you'd expect a bigger one but it has a little cap lifter I went ahead and I replaced the toothpick and tweezers with these aftermarket red ones that I that I bought so that's the tweezer and here's the toothpick and uh, they both work really well and they fit really snug um, of course my favorite part of this is the Phillips I really like these Victorinox that have the Phillips so Nice one, huh? What do you think? Do you guys have one of these? Well, of course, one of my favorite ones <coughs> of all time is my Shot Morgan Wildcat Driller. I love this knife. Um, this is the knife, and I did a video a while back. If there was a knife you wanted to be remembered by, this is the one. Um, it's just a beautiful kind of sleeve board design, nickel silver bolsters. Uh, I think it's 1095 carbon steel. I used to be able to make out what it said, not so much anymore because you know what it, the way it goes with carbon steel. The more you use it, the darker it gets, right? So it's getting a nice patina. And uh, notice how the small blade doesn't have much of a patina because I don't use it much, but the larger blade does. Even here in the bolsters, I'm getting a little bit of a patina. So this is a super nice uh, bone handle knife. This is a stabilized crack. This is the way I bought it. It's just a beautiful, beautiful knife, guys. Um, this is one that I carry like on special occasions. It's one that I'm always going to uh, have with me uh, in some way, shape, or form. I don't intend to sell this one unless times get real, real bad. Know what I mean? Okay. So check this one out. Now, this was a grill knife for me for a while. I wanted a nice one, not because I couldn't afford one, but because um, this reminded me of knives that were carried when I was younger and what I saw people carrying, and I really like these. And, and check it out. Look at that. It's an old-timer Tubalade Folding Hunter. This is a 25 OT. And as you can see, the blade does have a little bit of wear, but it is in pretty good shape. It's like 90 five percent there you know so i'm thankful for that good snap doesn't have any uh, play this one of course is usually the more firmer one because it rarely gets used it's all there pretty much it's been sharpened a little and i uh, just love this knife and this is the kind of thing you can put in your back pocket or you can carry in this really cool sheath right here i put this little lanyard from an old boot shoelace that i had just to have something to pull it out with right uh, but really like it guys really really like it so yeah one of my faves definitely one of my faves um this has quite a bit of use on it too and i bought it used you know i haven't put many miles on it myself you know quite frankly okay so this is the one i bought picked up at the flea market my best guess is 1950s on this and i mostly say that look at this beautiful uh clevis right here mostly say that because of this right here check out that beautiful can opener Still has a lot of luster left in it. Look at that. Gorgeous, huh? Look at that. Did you hear that snap? For a can opener that old? Wow. Okay. So, really good. This is the awl. Awl is in really good shape also. Overall, the knife was in really good shape, and I knew it was going to clean up pretty good. I didn't uh, 
clean it up completely, completely, because it's never going to be a beauty queen again. Notice how this spear uh, blade does have some use right around in here, like somebody was using it to whittle a little bit. Has a long nail pull and the swedge right there. Kind of a lazy snap there, because this blade probably got used more than anything in the whole knife. Decent snap closed, a little lazy still. What's here? The uh, flathead and bottle opener. But the flat head was a little chewed up on the tip, so you know me, I just grind it a little bit, smoothed it out a little bit, and uh, yeah, there you go, back to normal. There you go, so really great tool to have. I mean, having this in your pocket, to me, feels a lot like having a Swiss Army knife, so really like it. Um, looks like it's got steel liners. That looks like, like stag to me, guys, what do you think? Paid 20 bucks for this. Did I overpay for this knife, guys? It's missing the emblem, I know that. And I told the guy, it's missing an emblem. There used to be an emblem there. He's like, oh, really? I didn't know that. And I don't know if I believe him, honestly. I think that's why he was selling it. He looked like a collector to me, my friends. But I'm glad to have it, even without an emblem. I am very glad to have it. Um, and for the 20 bucks that I paid for this beautiful, beautiful stag, I think I did all right. So I don't know. Tell me what you think, guys. Did I do all right on this? I want to know your opinions. Let me know. All right, amigos, I'm going to let you go because you're watching this video, uh, but uh, I am not here. So I will catch you later. I'm busy doing other things and detecting amigos. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.